it is Anika. Welcome to part two of Think Before You Eat, just a little mini series that I'm doing to kind of help us to steer clear of overeating. If you click on the link above, you can see part one. So part two is just this idea of finding healthy ways to de-stress, finding healthy distractions. I get it. Life can be hard and things come at us that could just kind of leave us, right? Just with our, our minds spinning. So I think it's so important that we don't run to food to de-stress and overeat and complicate the issue, but instead find healthy ways to de-stress. Now for me, my faith in Jesus is a huge part of my life. It is my life, right? So one of the greatest ways that I de-stress is prayer. And I am learning instead of running to the pantry or to the fridge for more food, I need to run to God and I pray. That is the greatest de-stressor for me. So I pray and I cry and I tell God my emotions, how I'm feeling and give him a chance to just really speak back to me. And that is for me, one of the best ways to de-stress. Another healthy way to de-stress is just going for a walk. Like, get out of the house, get away from, you know, the fridge and the pantry and just go for a walk and clear your mind. Don't just sit and think about your situation and, you know, kind of sulk about whatever it is that's going on that has you down. Go for a walk, do a fun activity. Um, another thing is you can read. And I have said this before that while I know that, you know, they have a lot of different ebooks and different things, but get into the habit of even going to your local library and finding a book, checking it out and having the physical book to read. That can be a great means of just de-stressing. I know it's easy for us to speak negatively about the internet, and I definitely am not one to say to stay on it all the time. And it's easy, definitely, to do mindless scrolling on the internet. But I also think that there's a positive side, right? That you can do mindful scrolling on the internet. So sometimes when, you know, I'm feeling down about a situation as opposed to overeat, sometimes I'll just go and look on Pinterest and find something, you know, that is aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. And maybe it's a hobby that I'm interested in and I'll look up different things on that. So it just helps me to just whew, take it down a little bit now. <laughs> you have to be careful with this one because you want it to be mindful scrolling. So with that said, you shouldn't be on there for three to four hours talking about you de-stressing. So set time limits, but I think it's perfectly fine in moderation to kind of have a little escape, right? Maybe it's somewhere where you want to go for vacation. Look up pictures about that place, even if you know you don't got no money and you won't be going anytime soon, but it's okay to dream, right? So it just kind of takes your mind off of the current situation. And I know that I have mentioned before just even this idea of picking up your phone and calling someone, calling a good friend, calling a relative that you know can encourage you or a friend that you can encourage you. Pick up the phone and call them as opposed to, again, looking to the food to distract you. So leave me a comment below. What are some things that you do to de-stress um, instead of using food to fill a void, what are some of the positive things that you do to help to distract you from whatever is going on around you? Would love to hear from you. All right, so I'll see you in the next video, part three of Think Before You Eat. All right, you be blessed.